What is happening everybody? I'm here on the Big Island of Hawaii for a four day adventure full of volcanoes, snorkeling, and exploring the extraordinary natural beauty of this island paradise. Let's do stuff. I'm Tara, that's Lucas. We're on a quest for new adventures and great food. Come along with us as we explore our incredible world. Unfortunately, Tara couldn't join me on this trip, but I'm meeting up with my parents, Penny and Jim, for this big island adventure. If you're new around here, welcome, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our adventures. And now, let's catch a plane to Kona. and meeting up with my parents, we grab the rental car and head across the island. The landscape shifts from tropical to grasslands, and then to black volcanic rock, hinting at our first stop. All right, everybody, we're here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Let's go check it out. Just past the entrance station is the Kilauea Visitor Center, where a ranger was outside giving advice on what to do for short or long stays in the park. Inside the visitor center, you can find many displays about the history of the volcanoes, the unique plant and animal life that thrive here, and the native Hawaiian traditions that surround these volcanoes. And of course, a gift shop. Heading west on Crater Rim Drive brings us to Ue Kahuna, where a major eruption in 2018 damaged the museum and volcano observatory closing them indefinitely. Native Hawaiians have come to Ue Kahuna long before the park was established to connect to their ancestral home. Visitors are asked to be respectful of these traditions. About a half mile along the crater rim brings us to the Kilauea Overlook. vantage point, you can truly appreciate the mammoth scale of this caldera, which spans two miles and drops several hundred feet. Geologists believe the bubbling lake of lava exists two miles below the floor. crazy we're at the steam vents and the steam coming out is hot very warm oh, it's hot. <laughs> oh, it's wow and it feels warm. if you haven't noticed it's raining a ton big island is experiencing a storm we got a ton of rain I'm trying to do my best to get some footage here in the rain it's gorgeous Volcanoes are crazy. It's my first experience with a volcano. Man, it's beautiful, but it's huge. I am on the Sulphur Banks Trail. I'm heading to the Sulphur Banks, and I can already start to smell them now. I'm expecting it's probably going to be pretty foul. It's a 0.3 mile trail out and back, and we're getting there, and it's clearly, as you can tell, dumping on me right now. I'm under some trees. But uh, yeah, it's raining pretty hard. Well, here we are at the sulfur banks and unsurprisingly, yeah, it stinks. Like sulfur, rotten eggs, it's pretty gross. And it says it's uh, hazardous to your health, potentially fatal, so that's lovely. Um, just kind of taking it in, looks fascinating and smells a lot. OK. 
Okay, we're in the Thurston Lava Tube, and this is enormous. It's like 15 or 20 feet in diameter, and the water just, it's raining outside, and the water is just coming through the rock and drops everywhere. So it's like soaked in here. It's really cool. We're at the Coffee Shack. It's a family owned restaurant with an absolutely incredible view overlooking 26 miles of the Kona Coast. I got the fried egg sandwich on their house made rye bread. It's got some lettuce, tomato, cheese, and I added some avocado. Yeah, the uh, richness of the eggs with the avocado, the creamy avocado, a little acidity from the uh, tomato, a little crunch from the lettuce there, and the bread is fantastic. Wonderful lunch. Breakfast, lunch, whatever you want to call it. With its normally crystal clear, brilliant blue waters, Kahalu'u is a protected bay on the Kona coast and offers some of the best snorkeling on the island. The name translates to diving space and it's been populated for over 500 years. Unfortunately, the visibility was affected by the storm on this particular day, but it was still beautiful and really nice swimming with all these tropical fish. Later that afternoon, we head to a spot that's quiet, contemplative, and rich in history. Located in South Kona, Pu'u Honua Ohonaunau immerses you in Hawaiian culture. This 180-acre National Historical Park was once the home of royal grounds and a place of refuge for ancient Hawaiians. These carved wooden ki'i images represent gods, and restored ceremonial structures like the Ale o Keawe give us a glimpse of what Hawaii was like before Europeans arrived. It seemed like everywhere we went on the island, people kept talking about shaka tacos. So that's what we got for dinner. I got three fish tacos with the lava sauce, which yes, is very hot, and they did not disappoint. All right, y'all, this morning's activity brings us to Ocean Rider Seahorse Farm. I don't know anything about seahorses, so I guess let's go learn about it. After a thorough hand washing, we learned about the shrimp that they feed to the seahorses. 
Then we head back to the tanks where we learn that worldwide seahorses are in trouble, threatened by habitat loss and sold in a massive global trade, which is why in 1998 Ocean Rider established this aqua farm to raise over 25 species for aquariums and to repopulate in the wild. Their vision statement is to inspire ocean awareness by saving the endangered seahorses from extinction through education and propagation. The tour of the farm gives a unique and up-close view of some fascinating creatures, and you even get to hold one. So make your little coral basket, right? Keep your thumbs apart. Go ahead and slowly sink your hands in the water, and just be as still as you possibly can. This is a female. She's gonna look through your finger. I got it. There we go. <laughs> at all. Hey, little seahorse. Let's your eyes blinking. Mm -hmm. Alright y'all, we are at Ola Brew in Kona. And the beer I'm drinking today is called Mo Hazy. It's a hazy IPA. Very citrusy. I think it's mosaic hops, I'm assuming. I don't know. It's pretty good. Also got some tacos, a chicken taco and a mushroom taco. And they were surprisingly delicious. All right, good morning, everybody. Today we have a special treat. We are going out on a sailboat to some snorkeling spots. So let's do it. Spend your money, <laughs> but hit like and subscribe to Luke and Tara do stuff. Last afternoon, with the trip drawing to a close, I was starting to accept that I probably wasn't going to see a turtle on this trip. Mom and I went for a walk, we happened to stop at a beach, and in a tide pool I noticed a weird looking rock that seemed to be moving in the water. Hello friend! Hey bud! This unexpected encounter was the perfect ending to an amazing and memorable trip to the Big Island. Thank you so much for coming along on this adventure to the Big Island of Hawaii. If you like this video, please take a second to hit the like button down below. And if you haven't already, please do take a second to subscribe to our channel. It's the biggest thing you can do to help us keep making these videos. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one.